Hello all. In this video, I am going to show a zero crossing detector. A zero crossing detector is used to detect the presence of a voltage. So I am going to show you the basic circuit diagram. So this is a zero crossing detector as you can see. So in the zero crossing detector, we can see I am using an op amp LM324. So the negative terminal of the op amp is grounded. You can see it is grounded. The positive terminal of the op amp is for the signal. The power supply is fed to plus 5 volt DC and the ground is connected to the 11 volts DC. The output of the op amp is connected to 330 ohms with an LED as an indicator of the output voltage presence. So as we can see here, what I am going to do, I am going to feed 220 volts AC signal. I am going to use a transformer. I will step down the mains voltage. I will get a 0, 06 volt AC signal. So I will feed it to the 1N4007 rectifier. You can see 1N4007 rectifier. I am going to feed it and I am going to divide the voltage by 2. This is a voltage divider 10K and 10K network. It will divide the voltage to 3 volts. So I am getting here 2.7 volts AC. I have checked already in the multimeter. It is 2.7 volts AC. And you can see since I have used a diode here, this is my waveform. It is a semi uh, sinusoidal wave okay it is half wave it is rectified this is a half wave rectifier network so it is half wave rectified and the frequency is 50 hertz so when this frequency sample the voltage sample is fed to the lm324 what is going to happen what is going to happen i am giving this 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 waveform and it is being compared so whenever they it is compared with a zero so whenever it is more than zero the same output is coming here so we can see here there is a positive edge of the pulse okay so the output i am getting is uh, is a somewhat 1.7 volts ac so we will check it in the multimeter so this is my basic circuit of the lm324 as a uh, zero crossing detector so let's go to the circuit so this is my circuit as you can see here so this is the circuit so here this is my lm324 zero crossing detector ic okay so i am going to feed so this is my transformer so output of the transformer is fed to this rectifier as you can see here it is fed to this rectifier this is my 1 and 4 0, 0, 7 rectifier it is converting the ac signal into dc and this is my voltage divider 10k and here is one more 10k so voltage divider the output of the voltage divider is fed to the pin number 3 of the LM324 and the pin number 2 of the LM324 is ground. So we can see here there is a signal presence. So here we can see one thing this LED is flickering. The reason for the flickering of the LED is the phone camera scan rate is 60 hertz to 70 hertz and I am getting here a frequency of 50 hertz. So both the frequencies are very close to each other that's why there is a scanning scanning blink the blink that i am seeing is a it is a it is due to scanning so if i go to my multimeter if i see my multimeter what i am going to see the see this is my output voltage it is 1.7 volts ac okay and if i see the frequency so it is 50 hertz so if i check the duty cycle it is a 50 percent duty cycle waveform okay so this is a perfect waveform okay and it is 1.7 volts ac output of the volt output voltage it is giving so this 1.7 volts ac is being fed to this led so my led is glowing so this is how a zero crossing detector works the zero crossing detector output is fed to microcontroller in order to track waveform characteristics so in the next videos i am going to use this circuit in order to perform frequency measurement of the main line and many other applications thanks a lot thanks for watching